Hi guys, today we are working with overloading operators in C++ and this is a hacker rank challenge that is easy. We are going to be working with complex numbers. So in C++, I believe there is a library to easily manipulate complex numbers. We are not going to use that. We're going to write our very own codes. It's going to be very short and very quick. So here we have a class called complex and it has two public attributes, A and B, and they are both integers. If I scroll down here, you can see that they want us to overload the addition operator with the plus sign to be able to add two complex numbers together. And then we should be able to get a result like this. We are also supposed to overload the stream insertion operator because we should be able to print out the results like this using C out and we would get this representation here. So if I scroll down here, this is a sample input you can see Let's say this is one complex number. This is another complex number. If we add them up together, we should get this as the result. So before I start coding, let me switch to this view right here. You can uh, toggle the logged piece of code here. This is how we are going to handle the input. We don't need to worry about that. And then this is the full uh, complex class. We also do not need to worry much about that. But these are the steps that we are going to follow. So first, to overload the addition operator, I'm going to create a complex object in, inside my function, my overloading function. I'm going to create a complex object. I'm going to call it C. And then I'm going to make the A attributes of C equal the sum of the two complex objects that we want to add up. Uh, when I say the sum, I'm talking about the A values. So every complex object has an attribute called A. We're going to add this up and store it in C dot A. And then C dot B, which is the B attribute of C, is going to equal the B values of two other complex objects that we are adding together. And then when I'm done, I'm going to return C. And to display it, I'm just going to use the O stream and O stream objects. And I'm going to use that to display the values of A and B. And then I'm going to include uh, plus I as a string in my concatenation so that I can get a representation like what they have uh, right here, A plus I and 10. All right, so I'm going to start coding now. I'm just going to close that, close that as well. And underneath here, first, I'm going to have complex. This is going to be the return type of my overloading function. Then I'm going to use the operator keyword. You've seen me use that in a previous video. And I'm going to pass that uh, two references to complex objects. So I'm going to call them X, and then this one I'm going to call it uh, B. Again, if you are confused with references, you can uh, look back on my channel. I have some videos on that. So now I'm going to create my C complex object, and I'm going to say C.A equals X.A, the A value of the X object here, plus Y.A, the A um, the A value of the uh, Y object. And actually this, I want to call it Y, not B. So we have an object called X, another object called Y. They are both references. And then we are adding up their A values and storing them in C dot A. So now I want to do the same thing for C dot B. It's going to be X dot B plus Y dot B. And now we can simply return C like this. Okay, now let's handle the um, operator overloading for the insertion operator for the stream. I will use a reference to the old stream, output stream, like this. And I'm going to have the operator keyword and then the insertion operator. First thing I'm, I'm going to pass this function is a reference to that um, output stream. I'm going to call it out and then a reference to a complex object, which is going to be C in our program. So I'm still using C, even though it's just a parameter. And now I can say out. Uh, C dot A, because this is the addition, right? Um, three plus five, eight. We've already handled that addition right here. So now I want to display C dot A. That will be eight in this case. Now I need to handle plus I. So plus I, this can be a string like this, plus I. There is no space, so I'm also not adding any spaces. And then here, 10, in that case, it's this uh, B value plus this B value, four plus six, 10. So I want to say C dot B because C dot B will already have 
the addition of the B values of X and Y, the two complex objects that we've added up together. All right, so now that I'm done, I need to return my output uh, screen reference. So let's see, let me run this program here. I think I should pass fine. Let me submit this code. I should pass all the various test cases. And we just did. So that's it. It's a very easy challenge, as you can see. Uh, just a few lines of code, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, kind of like eight lines of code if you take out these closing brackets. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Please make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, give this video a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, just drop your question, and I'll make sure to answer you as fast as I can. See you guys.